If you are looking to buy a new Mini as your very first car, you will not be coming high up anybody's list of people to feel sorry for at the moment. And when I say new Mini, I do mean new. This Mini that you're seeing now may look very much like a Mini that you could have seen the year before, or the year before, or 10 years before that. But it is a completely new car from stem to stern. Engine, chassis, body, interior, the lot. And however good you may have thought an old Mini one, this one, take my word for it, is far, far better. It does all the things that Minis have been famous for for years now. It's great fun to drive. It looks fantastic. The interior quality reflects the fact that it's actually BMW doing the engineering. But the new Mini brings an entire new range of talents to the car, which you might not associate with Minis of the past. It is, for instance, remarkably quiet and comfortable on a motorway. If you buy a diesel version like this one is, you get a strong, powerful engine, which, believe it or not, will do over 80 miles to the gallon. They've even managed to find some room in the back. Okay, it's not what you'd call a roomy car by any stretch of anyone's imagination, but nor is it quite the purgatory to be a third or a fourth passenger in that the old one was. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's alright for some if you could afford to buy a new Mini. Good luck to you. Remember too how little this car costs to run. There's the fuel consumption. Even the petrol one is pretty frugal. Uh, this diesel version, you don't even have to pay for your tax disc. So low is its CO2. And then there's the resale value. This is a car which will cost a lot to buy, but you'll get a lot back when you sell it. And if you're worried about insurance, which you may very well be if you're a first-time driver because this Mini Cooper, even in diesel form, carries Group 20 insurance, just be aware that there is below that another trim level, the Mini 1, which is almost as much fun to drive, a lot cheaper to buy, and crucially, substantially cheaper to insure too. So this new Mini is best seen as a car that retains all the character of the old Mini but has lost all of its really quite significant flaws. It is, if you like, for the first time in more than a dozen years, the first truly complete Mini.